All right, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastors Jose and Patricia are welcoming you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all of those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Yes, so you. praise God. Bienvenidos a todos que nos escuchan por audio y video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Yeah. We have a fellowship afterwards, and I've already prepared myself to receive and partake <laughs> of that good meal. Amen. <laughs> but you know what? Before that, we got to prepare ourselves to receive what God has for us. Amen. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. Get involved. Get committed. Amen. Amen. This is something that we must do on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And we're going to be uh, allowing the word of God to bless us, encourage us, change us, and correct us. Que nos bendiga, que nos anime, que nos dé ánimo, que nos cambie y que nos corrige. Nos va a corregir. Amen. So praise God. And we're going to be continuing with be available. We've never talked about this before. We've said it many times, but be available. And we're going to use some stories from the Bible. The Word of God, you know what Bible is? Basic instruction before leaving earth. Right. Or say basic information before leaving earth. Amen. And this is the information we need to live on a daily basis. Amen. So you can't say, well, you know, he never talks to me. He never tells me anything. Uh. Well, you know, you need to pick up your Bible and dust it off. And then you yeah. open it. <laughs> Amen. Just like you open your heart, open your spirit, and allow God to come in. He said, I want to come in, but, you know, he's not going to force his way in. And we're right. going to find out again, God will use you if you're available. If yes. you're closed and not available, not making yourself available, uh -huh. uh, he's not going to force himself. So we need right. to remember this. Amen. So praise God. So be available for him. Part two. <clears throat> and we say this all the time, but you need to remember this. Don't come. Don't leave here like you came. Amen. Amen. You want to leave changed. You know, hey, right. I received something. Yes. You know, maybe your neighbor on the left or the right or behind you, in front of you, man, they're so happy and you're still upset because <laughs> what's what's wrong with them? Uh -huh. They received something. God touched yes, them. Yes. Amen. You got to open up yourself. Just like the lady with the issue of blood, he says, if I could only touch the hem of, of, of his garment. We need to press in in faith and receive what God has for us. You know, if you're not making yourself available, it's not going to happen. You need to make yourself available. He's done his part. Now we got to do our part. And we need to make yeah. ourselves available. Come on now. So don't leave as you came. Leave time. Right. Leave yeah. renewed. Leave uh, excited. You know what? The Bible tells us to stir ourselves up. Uh -huh. Amen. We need to stir ourselves up because the world ain't going to do it. That's right. They're going to stir you up in the wrong ways. In the wrong ways. Amen. So we got to stir ourselves up in the things of God. Amen. And people... You can write this down because I, I say it all the time. But you need to remember this. Mm -hmm. You're the closest thing. Yeah. Some people will never see a Bible. Some people will never open a Bible. Some That's people right. will never read a Bible. That's it. But you're the closest thing you'll ever see. You're the closest thing they'll ever read. Remember to watch your words and your actions because uh -huh. they're going to see you. They're going to read you. Uh -huh. And you're the closest thing to a Bible some, pe right. some people will ever see. And you know what? You, you see, you know, I don't know anything about God, but you know what? When I see you, it just makes me feel that way. I say, praise God. Amen. They see God through you. Amen. They see God in you. So let's remember that. So let us pray. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to come and share your word, Father. Help us to be open and receptive to whatever you have for us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Oh well, let's uh, let's say, let's let's read this together, okay? Okay. Let's let's. Uh, this is my Bible. This this is my Bible. It's a, it's a declaration. Okay. Amen. Yes. We're gonna declare this. This is the word of God. Yes, it is. Amen. So get your Bible, pick it up. <laughs> this is your sword, the word of God. It says the truth is gonna set you free. You wanna be free from whatever? This is gonna set you free. Yes. But you gotta open it up, and yes. you gotta do some. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, reading, studying, and some declarations of what yes. the Word of God says. So let's say it together. Amen. I am. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'm never going to say in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, that's an awesome declaration. The Word of God. Amen. The Bible. By basic instruction or basic oh, yes. information before leaving earth. Amen. Uh -huh. So let's remember that. And we're going to be talking about being available. Amen. Well, you know, I can't, you don't know me and uh, I can't be available. I gave you a handout earlier this morning. Uh -huh. And let's look at it right quick. Those of you who are watching or listening by audio or video, it's a, it's a, I call it the Beatitudes. And there's a whole bunch of them here. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch that we could include in this. Right. But my beatitude says this. Be available is uh -huh. number one. <laughs> or be faithful. Uh -huh. uh, be yourself. Be blessed. Be committed. There's be faithful. Be uh -huh. obedient. We're yes. just going to read a few. You take these home and you study them for yourself. Be prayerful. Be teachable. Be forgiving. Be uh -huh. giving. Forgiving. Be giving, be uh, compassionate, be loving, be a champion, be victorious, be a winner. You gotta confess these things to yourself all the time. Tell them they want a list. Contact Excuse me. Us. If they need a, want a list, contact oh. us. Yes. Um, be courageous. Be honest. Be overcomer. Be merciful. Yes. Be excellent. Be nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen. Be kind. Amen. Be kind. Remember, the fruit of the spirit is in us. Yes. But we have to develop it. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to develop those fruits in us. Yes. Amen. And it's not just going to pop out of you. No. We have to develop those things. Amen. Yes. Uh, be patient. <laughs> be helpful. Be ready. Be responsible. I'm just skipping some of these. Okay. Man? Uh -huh. uh, be positive. Be healed. Because the Word of God tells us to be healed. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Who? Praise God. Be dependable. Be trustworthy. Yes. Be loyal, be per, uh, be bold, be happy, <laughs> be confident. There's only a few. You study these, amen? But these are some things that you can do. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Well, I pastor, I could never do these. Well, <laughs> that's not what the Word of God says. <laughs> not the Word of God says that you can do all things, all things through Christ who strengthens you. Remember, Jesus came, and he walked this walk, and he talked this talk. And he fulfilled his mission. And he had to go and fulfill all these. Amen. And we can do the same thing. So be available. Ooh, that's good. Be available. God will use you. And God will use whatever you make available uh -huh. to him. Amen. And we're going to find out some things that were made available to him. Amen. So I am excited. I don't know about you. But uh, our text is going to be Luke 5. Chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. We're going to be going over that in a few minutes. We also, last week, just a quick review, but last week we, talk, we talked about Ephesians 4, chapter 4, uh, 4, verses 11 through 15, where God gave gifts to the church. You remember what those gifts were? Mm. It's the fivefold ministry. Yes. The apostle, the prophet, the, prophet. the evangelist, the pastor, the teacher. Yeah. Amen? So, he's given us these things. He also gave us... In 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and, and through 21, uh -huh. he tells us that he's given us a ministry of reconciliation. Amen. That's to all of us. All of us. Yeah. Reconciling people back to him. Yes. Remember, yes. he's the head and we're yes. the body. Yes. And we're the body of Christ. We're the church. Yes. We didn't come to the church. We came to a church building. Mm -hmm. And this is where we assemble ourselves together. So don't... Um, what word I want to use, but don't stop coming and assembling yourselves together. Right. Amen. We need one another. Remember yes. last week we talked about the chain. Mm -hmm. Chain has links. And we need to be together. Amen. We need to be in unity. Yes. Amen. We need to stay together. Amen. Because the world, the enemy, comes to steal, kill, destroy, and he's going to try to separate, divide, Amen. And we don't need that in the body of Christ. Amen. But in St. Corinthians, it talks about old is gone, the new is in. 
and he talks about the ministry of reconciliation he also talks about being ambassadors for him yeah. you're going to go and be his mouthpiece you're going to go and share the word who is he going to use huh. us me. you make yourself available yeah, yeah you can say me who is he going to use me yes. you make yourself available for him to use you how are people going to know about Christ they're going to hear the word through you see when we leave these four walls here you're going to be in an area that I never get to go to mm -hmm. amen but guess what you don't go by yourself God is with you mm -hmm. everywhere you go he's with you Amen. So let's not pretend just to be uh, uh, nice uh, little Christians when we come and assemble ourselves together and, and walk out of these four walls and be little devils right when we go. Because <laughs> he knows. Amen. But hey, listen, I can do all things through Christ. Just like little David. You know, when he left his little shepherd field, when he left his father's house, he went out to bring lunch to his brothers. And then he met a giant. You know, every time we leave our house, every time we go somewhere, there's giants waiting you every day on a daily basis. But you know what? Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. And we got to remember these things. Amen. And also, I told you about Colossians 3, 23 through 25. It says, let me read it to you, New, New Living Translation. Work willingly at whatever you do. As though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. You know when we say, well, yeah, I'm just doing it for people. We tend to just do sloppy. Huh. Well, if you don't like them, you're just going to do yeah. bad. Do it as unto the Lord. Yes. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. And I'm using my gifts and my talents that you've given me Amen. to work for somebody. To do for somebody. Yes. Amen. And I'm getting paid for this. So I'm going to do God's best. Amen. And God's going to bless it. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to bless your mess. No. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> That's right. And verse 24 says, Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as, you, as your reward. And, the master, and that the master you are serving is Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. That's who you serve. We're serving Him. Mm -hmm. So, don't forget these things, okay? When you think, have a tendency to just want to get even mm. or get over, mm. you know? Let's remember this. And 25 says, but if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong you have done. For God has no favors. Mm. Amen? So let's remember this. This is Colossians. Yes. If you're going to do it, do it as unto him. And uh, we're just going to pick up from here. And we're going to talk about 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 3 and 4. And the Lord says, the Lord calls Samuel and he says, here am I. Mm -hmm. He made himself available. Yes. And he's calling you, but you haven't answered. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> he's called to you and we've been running. <laughs> Don't run anymore. <laughs> Just say, here am I. I what is it you want me to do, Lord? You talk to Mary. Amen. The mother of Jesus. Mary was the one who went down in history. Why? Notice what Mary said when the angel told her of her chosen ministry. Mm. In, first, uh, in Luke 1 38, Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Mm -hmm. Amen. She chose. She had it. She had it. She had a choice. Yeah. And she chose and she made herself available. Yeah. Amen. They, he could have wanted pick somebody else mm -hmm. but Mary made herself available you know and uh, that was a big thing you know because yes. she could have been stoned for doing what she did she said, but the Holy Spirit came and did what he did amen. amen Jesus walked perfectly in the will of God why Jesus made himself available mm -hmm. okay father this is what you want and I'm making myself available yeah. I'll go down I'll be sacrificed. I'll complete my mission. And I'll do what I need to do. And he did. And you know what? Before he left earth, he says, <laughs> Father, forgive him. Yeah. Before he surrendered himself, mm -hmm. he's, he told the Father to forgive him. Mm -hmm. And then he, he was, he was uh, crucified. Then he, he died and he came back. 
Yeah. And then before he left earth, he told the disciples, he says, I must go. But I'll leave you a Holy Spirit. I'll send the Holy yes. Spirit. Amen. He Amen. says, what I've done, you can go and do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And lead people and bring people to uh, Christ. Reconcile people. Amen. So mm -hmm. praise God. Woo! I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> and also he says, when they asked him, well, who are you? What are you doing? In Luke uh, 2, 24, 2, 49, he says, Know ye not that I must be about my father's business? Uh -huh. In other words, I'm making myself available yeah. to father to fulfill this vision. Amen. So whatever your part is, remember we talk about this all the time. Big or small, it doesn't matter. You're a piece of that puzzle. And you know, this is a beautiful picture. This is a beautiful puzzle. But guess what? There's a piece missing. Yeah. And that piece is you. You know that chain is linked all the way together. And guess what? Without your link, yeah. there's a link missing. Yes. It's not completed. So you are very important. So yeah. see yourself that way. See the way the Father sees you. He sees you valuable. He sees you important. Mm -hmm. When you see yourself that way, regardless of what the world says, you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. You're no good. You don't have what it takes. You don't have education. You don't have anything. Mm -hmm. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm pleasing Father, not people. That's it. Amen. So let's remember this. Instead of putting yourself down, pick yourself up. Remember? Mm -hmm. Stir yourself up. Yeah. Nobody's going to do it for you. That's right. Even people are quick <laughs> to put you down instead oh, yeah. of picking you up. That's it. Mm -hmm. You should catch yourself doing that. Mm -hmm. So next time you encourage somebody, mm -hmm. pick somebody up instead of pushing them down. Yeah. Everybody's pushing them down. Yeah. Except you. Says, that's a nice person. Whatever you have to say, say something nice. Say if something encouraging. Amen. Shouldn't no. have to be told that. <laughs> <laughs> Disciples. <laughs> they were mightily used. Why? Because they make themselves available. And we're going to be studying them a few more in a, in a little bit more. But anyway, Paul, I like this one. Paul, it was Saul. Yeah. And he, 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 he was going around just uh, uh, mm -hmm. murdering <laughs> Christians. Yeah. But Christians in, in, in jail. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he was on his way to Damascus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was on his horse. And God knocked him off his horse. <laughs> and he was blinded. But you know, uh, oh. yes. when, when he's on the, on the ground, <laughs> on his hands and knees, <laughs> he says, is this you, Lord? <laughs> what, is it, what is it you want me to do? <laughs> uh -huh. So God doesn't have to knock you off your horse. Yeah. Some of us Thank should God. know better yeah. than <laughs> this, you know. But immediately he knew, what is it you want, Lord? <laughs> mm -hmm. What is it you want me to do? Make yourself available. Yes. Amen. Make yourself available. Long story short, he went to Damascus, blinded. He was led. And you know the people that was with Saul saw all this. They yeah. heard a voice, he but they couldn't. Him. They didn't he see anything. That's it. They couldn't see anybody. Mm -hmm. I says, "Oh my God, yeah." yeah. <laughs> they they heard and they saw, mm -hmm. but nobody was there. But they heard, mm -hmm. and then they led. Uh, Paul or Saul to the Damascus. Yes. <laughs> and then Ananias, another disciple, <laughs> in a vision saw God told him what to do. Mm -hmm. He also told Saul that Ananias was coming. Yeah. He fixed it all together. Ananias made himself available. Mm -hmm. And he says, Lord, <laughs> Are you sure this is what you want to do? Mm. Do you know what he's doing? <laughs> yeah, he, he knows what he's doing. He says he's going to do some great works for me. Uh -huh. I want you to go and lay hands on him. Uh -huh. Put him scales, you know, to come off. Uh -huh. And he did. He, all this happened. Amen. <laughs> yeah. uh, these are great stories. You can find them in the Bible. Yes. Amen. Make it exciting. Don't make it a dread, you know, but make it exciting. Get in the Word of God and read it. Yes, amen. Amen. And this is uh, John, uh, I'm just going to read Acts 9, 6, says this. And he, trembling and astonished, said, you get knocked off your horse. <laughs> you're going to be also, you're going to be trembling. <laughs> you're going to be trembling and astonished. And said, Lord, 
What will thou have me to do? <laughs> He's got him on his hands and knees. He made himself available to Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. We don't you don't have to have a uh, to have a fish swallowing you to make yourself available <laughs> to God, you know? Or whatever the situation may be. Uh, down. <laughs> you know, yeah, Moses in front of a, the, the the Red Sea, you know, and the army behind him. And he says, Lord, I'm making myself available. I need to right now. But what did he use? He used that that rod. He says, just stretch it out. Stretch, stretch it out over the over the sea. And he did. And guess what? It parted. Whatever he had, he used. Amen? Yes. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about. Thank you, Lord. But you said, I'm no Samuel. I'm no Mary. I'm no Jesus. I'm no disciple. I'm no Paul. Mm -hmm. I'm just me. Mm -hmm. God can use you just like that. Yes. Yeah, but you don't know. I'm a nobody. Mm -mm -mm. Who's been telling you this? Who, right. Where have you heard this before? I know. Uh -huh. huh? Where did you hear this before? Who's been telling you this? Why do you consider yourself a nobody? Mm -hmm. Don't go blow your brains out because you say I'm no good mm -hmm. to no one. Yeah. You are somebody. You're a child of God. If you've never asked Jesus in your heart, now's the time, you know? Yes. It's time for you to get busy for Him. It says, Lord, I'm available. First of all, confess to him. You know, he knows all your sins and loves you the most, more than anybody else. Uh -huh. So just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Yes. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he will. And he'll start off from here. It says, mm -hmm. from this day on, you're making yourself available. Yes. Lord, I'm making myself available mm -hmm. for you to use me. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He's going to use you. Yes, he will. Amen. This is very basic. Remember basic instruction, before, basic information before leaving earth? This is the Bible. Mm -hmm. So this is just very basic. He's coming to your life. And I'm available now, Lord, mm -hmm. to use me. Good. Mm -hmm. Now you're that piece of that puzzle. And you're involved in this. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You're part of the body of Christ. <coughs> Since God can, can't use me, yes, he can. I'm a nobody. Yes, you're a somebody. You're a child of God. Yes. And he will use you. Amen. Praise God. This is just, uh, this is where we're going to uh, pick up from here. So, this is Jesus. He went and healed Peter's mother-in-law. And then he went and healed some more and cast out demons. Mm -hmm. The next day, he went to a des deserted place. And people followed him. Mm. People flocked to hear him. Yeah. Jesus then went to the city of Galilee to preach. They flocked to hear him. There, <laughs> there he was. Now he's at the Sea of Galilee. Open your Bibles to uh, uh, Book of Ma uh, Luke and Chapter Five, and we're gonna be reading. Verses 1 through 11. Mine starts off with this. Mine says the call of the first disciples. Mm. Amen. And we're going to be going over each one of these. But it says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed on, pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the uh, lake of Gennesaret. And he saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Verse 3 says, And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and he prayed him that he would thrust, thrust mm -hmm. out a little from the land. And he sat down and he talked to people out of the ship. Yeah. From the ship or off the ship. And verse 4 says, When he had left, when he had left speak, speaking, he, he said unto Simon, Lunch out into the deep and let your what do you say? Nets. Let your nets down. Mm -hmm. It's plural. It's got a nest to it. He said, Let your nets down. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we've toiled all night, and we have nothing. Nevertheless, thy word, at thy word, I will let down the what? The nets. The net. Jesus says, Let all your nets yeah. down. 
Simon says, okay, <laughs> I'll do what you're telling me to do, but I'll let the one net down. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And verse 6 says, and when he had done this, when he had this done, they included a great multitude, enclosed a, a great multitude of fish, and their nets break. Yeah. And seven. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, and they should come and help them. Mm -hmm. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. <laughs> when Simon Peter saw it, he fell at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a <laughs> sinful man, O Lord. <laughs> and verse 9 says, For he had astonished, he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draft of the fish, which they had taken. Verse uh, 10. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth yes. thou shalt catch yeah. men. Amen. And verse 11. And when they had uh, brought their ships to the land, they forsook all and followed him. Amen. So we're going to pick it up from there. <laughs> but he says, let down the nets. Yeah. And they let down the one net. <laughs> Amen. To hear the word of God is why we're here this morning. That's our mission. That means spiritual growth. That means salvation. Yes. That means heaven. Mm -hmm. When you receive him, it's salvation. Yes. It's a free gift. Yeah. But you have to receive it, confess it with your mouth as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you'll come and be your Lord and Savior. And then means heaven. Heaven is our home. This is just Earth is just a, a land we're passing through. Mm -hmm. Heaven is my home. Amen. You can confess that all the time. Yes. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, So then faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. That's why we invite people to church. That's why we pass our tracts. That's why we witness to people. Yes. I don't know if you ever done it. But this is so that they can hear the good news. Yes. The word of God. Mm -hmm. And you share with somebody. Maybe on an individual. Maybe in a group. Mm -hmm. Or maybe in, 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 a, in a meeting or something. Yeah. But we share the good news of the gospel. We share Jesus. And they have an opportunity to receive Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> How does God get the word out to the lost and the dying world? Mm -hmm. Answer? Through us. <laughs> he uses whatever source is available. Yes. He's the head and we're the body. Yes. He uses us. Yes. And we need to make ourselves available. Amen. And you know when you go and leave these four walls when you go mm -hmm. to wherever you go mm -hmm. he's gonna talk to you mm -hmm. and says you know it's time for you to talk to this person that you don't like so much <laughs> <laughs> and it's time for them to come to christ yeah. but you need to share with them mm -hmm. amen and he's going to tell you to share with some people mm -hmm. that you might not know he yeah. might have you share with people that you know yeah amen He's got the right person for the right thing. Yes. But you need yes. to make yourself available. Amen. Right. And he's going to use us. Yes. Amen. And Jesus was being pushed. <laughs> Listen to this. Verse uh, 5 2 says, Jesus was being pushed into the water by the crowd. Huh. And verse 1 was talking about they were hungry and thirsty for the word of God. Amen. To a preacher, it's just like saying, sick them to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus says, come on, come on. They were just pushing him, pushing him. Amen. <laughs> Everybody want a front row seat. Amen. <laughs> Everybody want a front row seat. Just like we want a front row seat at a concert. We want a front row seat at a sporting event, at a game. You know, we want a front row seat at a, a front line to a, a shopping spree. Yeah. Or at the movies. Yes. Or you put a name to it. Whatever it is that you want to be in front of all the time. Except never front row at a church. Never. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? When we was uh first came to Christ we and we started coming to church, always front row seat. Uh -huh. Always, always front row. Always, always. Amen. Praise God. Unless you uh, 
have your name to a pew or something, you know. We went to the front. Why? Because nobody sat there. Only one that sat in the front row was the pastor's wife. But we sat on the opposite side. And we was there all the time. Amen. Us, our children, <laughs> was there all the time. Amen. And they didn't like that. But, you know, they said straight. <laughs> Otherwise, we, we just laid hands on them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus needed a pulpit. So he sees a boat. In the boat, he could be both seen and heard. So Jesus asked Simon. Jesus asked Simon for his boat. Why? Because it was available. He was ready for the master's. It was ready for the master's use. Yes. And Peter or Simon was willing to give up what he had. It was a dirty, smelly, old fishing boat. Uh -huh. But Jesus didn't care. That's right. He says he got in the boat, and he says, "Lunch out a little ways." Mm -hmm. Amen. Because everybody was pushing their way in, yeah. and he had nowhere to stand except in the boat. Mm -hmm. But he was excited because people were hungry for the yes. word. This is what we need to do uh, ourselves. We need to be hungry and hungry. thirsty for the word of God. If Amen. you're thirsty, you mean you want some water bad. <laughs> you're hungry, you want some food bad. Oh, yeah. But we got to have that mm. spiritual food. Yeah. We got to thirst for that spiritual food. Yeah. We got to hungry. We got to hunger for the spiritual yes. food. And these people were doing that. They were hungry. Amen. Notice Jesus didn't demand the use of the boat. He didn't take it. Uh -huh. Amen. Peter could have refused. Yeah. But he asked. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus doesn't force us to be an instrument in the process of leading others to Christ. Mm -hmm. He'll put it there and he'll put it in you. Yeah. But it's up to you mm -hmm. to be obedient yes. and be available for the master's use. That's right. Don't ever say the master don't want to use you. Mm -hmm. He wants to use you. But you haven't been available for him. It's time that you make yourself That's available it. for him to use you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's so important to be used of him. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's an honor. It's a glory. It's yes. man, it's, it's so important. Yeah. It feels so good. You know, you just feel, you just have this feeling, you know. <laughs> it's, it's such a relief. Amen. Yes. It's just like all this weight coming off of oh, yeah. Amen. So, we're supposed to be a link in the chain, yes. not the missing link. That's right. Amen. Yes, this chain is strong. Amen. It's strong. But if the li your link, if you are missing, uh -huh. it's the missing link. Don't yes. be the missing link. Amen. Yes. You may make us wish we had yield, had yield, but to his will but he won't force us he uses only what is made available to him mm -hmm. amen verse uh, five, 4 says notice he says out a little ways from the land and then verse 4 talks about he launched out into the deep the lesson when we make ourselves available in the little we have he will lead us into deeper and yes. greater things yes he told Peter to launch out a little way so he could do his preaching. When the preaching was done, he said, launch out and let your nets down. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when we are obedient in the little things, he says, mm -hmm. he'll lead us into deeper and greater things. Yes. That's what he's teaching us. This is the lesson about. Mm -hmm. Don't give up if you're not winning 10 people for the Lord on a daily basis or every <laughs> month or every year. That's right. Don't give up Don't even give up. if you're not trying to win people to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus won't ask you to launch into the deep until you first, first mm -hmm. make yourself available to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's remember this. Every Christian here would like to lead 10 people, but even if you're not, remember to make yourself available for him. Amen. So praise God. What is the key? You've got to make yourself available. First, with what we have and then going deep into the deeper waters amen deeper and further with him but what to do what do you have first first thing you got to do is to make yourself available mm -hmm. to jesus 
and go deeper in this game of life yes. in this boat let jesus into your boat of life mm -hmm. amen first you got to let him in yeah and then we can launch deeper amen Woo. so make sure he's in your yes. life if he's not yeah. in your life you know you're not going to have it and the enemy is going to come steal kill yes. and destroy yes amen so make sure you make have jesus in your life too many christians haven't let jesus into their boats huh. he's still on the shore <laughs> yeah. you're glad to let jesus have save you and take you to heaven but you won't let him in the boat with you yeah you don't have jesus to get too involved in your life mm -hmm. wait a minute you know when things are going well uh -huh. it's okay when things are going bad uh, jesus i need you mm -hmm. when things are going good say i don't need you right now mm -hmm. amen that's that's not right we got to make ourselves available. Yes. Amen. Yes. You must be available to be a link in his chain. Notice that Jesus told him to what to do. He says, let down your nets mm -hmm. for a drought. If yes. you want to catch fish, you have to let down your nets. Yeah. Fish won't usually jump into the boat. <laughs> <laughs> if you ignore the lost conditions of those around you, the lost won't get any closer to heaven. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to... <laughs> Somebody, God will use somebody, but not me. Mm. That's not me. No, you got to stop thinking that way. Yeah. And you have to start making yourself available and yes. say, I can do all things through Christ. All things. Christ is with me, and I can do all things through Him. Mm. You need to be available, yeah. and He's going to use you yes. to reach those people. Yes, he will. The lost are around you all the time. Mm -hmm. And you're a lost, you, you, you're, you're a saved soul, and you're around all these lost people. Mm. And they must see Jesus in you, and you'll be willing to share Jesus with them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're just not doing anything. Wasting your gift. You're wasting that gift, <laughs> yes. You got to speak out and share, amen, especially when he's telling you to. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, if you ignore the lost condition of those around you, the lost won't get any closer to heaven. Right. And you had a choice. Mm -hmm. But you chose not to be available. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available. Let yes. him use you. What did they have available? They had nets. Mm -hmm. Jesus tells them to use what they have. Amen. Jesus tells them, put what you have available to use. Maybe you don't have very much. It does, it's okay. Yeah. Just use what you have. Yes. Moses stuck out that rod. Mm -hmm. Amen. He stuck out that rod and guess what? <laughs> mm -hmm. That sea parted. He'll do, he'll do the great. <laughs> but you got to do whatever he says. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> God is giving you Whatever God has given you to use, make it available for him. Amen. Mark tells us a story about a woman who took an alabaster box of perfume and poured it into the head of Jesus. Some of the disciples rebuked her and said that she should have sold it and given the money to the poor. <laughs> Listen to what Jesus says in Mark 14.8. Uh, 14, he has done what, she's, what she could. If you do, uh, don't do what you can do, you'll never launch out into the deep to do more amen so don't cry over what you can't do yeah do what you can do that's right amen what if i say that i won't preach at all because i can't preach like a billy graham <laughs> some of us are sitting and god has called you mm -hmm. to be up here mm -hmm. and be a, a, a pastor an apostle a prophet a, a teacher and you're not doing it and you're not using their gift you know mm -hmm. i just come to sit when i come to church mm. well if that's all you're doing you know i could go stand in the garage and say i'm a car <laughs> but that ain't going to happen mm -hmm. no you got to be available make yourself available mm -hmm. and allow god to bless you and use that gift that he's given you right. he's given you a gift to preach then you got to be up here preaching you got to be up here teaching mm -hmm. you know who you are and you know, <laughs> I've had people told me, he said, I know God's called me to preach, but uh, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, refuse. One day you're going to stand before him yeah. and to find out and explain to him why. Mm -hmm. You know, here's the thing. Whatever he's given you, he won't take from you. Hmm. Whatever he's gifted you with, he's not going to take from you until you go and you stand before him. Then you're going to find out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on now. You're freaking good. Instead of doing nothing, do what you can. Yes. And do it to the very best you can. That's right. Do what you can and do it to the very best you can. You know when you're doing your best. Mm -hmm. And you know when you're holding back. Yeah. <laughs> I do my best when I eat. <laughs> I eat all I can. I, I'm doing my best, Lord. <laughs> Some of you don't. I ain't sandbagging. I ain't holding back, okay? <laughs> Praise God. In verse 5 says, this is a verse where doubts try to sneak in. <laughs> Up to this time, there has been growth. Mm. They got into the boat. Uh. They went out a little ways. They launched into the deep. Mm. As we grow in the Lord, we become better and more useful witnesses. Yes. Disciples yes. cited them. Previous experiences. Work all night. Caught nothing. At night, the fish were closed to the surface. The lesson here is perhaps you have failed Christ in the past. Don't let that keep you from a ministry now. Yeah, that's right. This is the new day. A new beginnings. This is the first day of the rest of your life. All right. This is the first day of the rest of your Christian ministry. Mm -hmm. Don't let the past failures keep you from doing what is right. That's it. Nevertheless, here is where victory comes. In spite of the fact that we see, I uh, can't see what good it will do. I can't see it how it will work. I can see how God can use me. Do it. Why? Because Jesus wants you to be available. Make yourself available. Forget about the past. He tells us all the time. Forget the past. Renew your mind to the things of God. And you know what? The enemy and people are always going to bring the past to you. Oh, yeah. And the enemy is going to see to it that you're always... Just thinking about your past oh, yeah. failures. But you know what you do is renew your mind with the Word of God. Get those things out and start pressing out. This is the new day of new beginnings for you. Amen. This is a new day of your new ministry. Yes. Amen. Of your new calling. Mm -hmm. I say, wow, I thought God, I, I didn't think God could use me like this. Mm. But He is. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why you got to stay so humble. Mm -hmm. I was going to show you. Can't use our uh, our uh, slides. slides, but ways to be make yourself available to Him is to be faithful, to be available, to be obedient, to be humble. Mm -hmm. Amen. These are ways that you can make yourself available to Him. Amen. I'm excited, I don't know about you. <laughs> and we're not going to try to finish this because we got more. Yeah. But here's the thing is we need to make ourselves available. Yes, Amen. We do. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus says, launch your nets, cast yeah. your nets, mm -hmm. and they launch the net. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He trusted him. He let him use his boat. And then he says, go into deeper waters. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's got deeper, deeper blessings for you. You've only scratched the surface. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis, make yourself available to him. Yes. Not just yes. once in a while. Or not yes. just when you want something. Right. Amen. That's it. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're just going to use Peter on the day of Pentecost. 3,000 were saved. Remember, Peter denied him three times. Jesus told him. But still, when it was time for him to go preach, he made himself available. God says, I want you 
to bring the message. And thousands came mm -hmm. to know Christ. Yes. Amen. Still made himself available. Yes. Even though he could have said, Jesus could have said no. Still, you failed me. You denied me three times. Why would I use you now? But Lord, I'm making myself available. Uh -huh. You've got past failures. Let them go. God wants to use you now. Amen. Some of you, that's for you. <laughs> Amen. Andrew went to Asia with the gospel. Bartholomew went to India with the gospel. Simon went to Africa with the gospel. Mm -hmm. All these disciples went different places mm -hmm. to preach the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So wherever you happen to be, yeah. God is bringing you around that neighborhood. God is bringing you on the, in that city. Yes. In that area. In that country. Wherever you happen yeah. to be. Yeah. He is with you. Mm -hmm. And he wants to use you. And all you need to do is make yourself available. Yes. Amen. You, they became fishers of men. They learned more, some more valuable lessons in the boat that day. When Jesus spoke, you listen. When Jesus leads, you go. The Lord gives you and you make available to him. Make it available to him. Jesus in the boat. Keep Jesus in your boat of life. Yes. As long as you're here. Yeah. Keep Jesus in that boat of life. Amen. Yes. He wants to be with you. He never wants to leave you nor forsake you. Right. He, <laughs> there never comes a, a time where he just leaves. Hmm. You need to have uh, what is called um, uh, uh, make yourself available but it's called relationship yeah when you have relationship yeah. you're available That's it. amen when you have relationship you're available because god is counting on you yeah amen god is counting on you i think last week we talked about uh, a coach <laughs> he wants his players to be available to him uh -huh. you know if the coach calls on you and then you make yourself no, no, not today, coach. I'm not playing today. What? Well, you're sitting on the bench. You're in the body of Christ. God wants to use you, uh -huh. but you're not making yourself available to Him. Make yourself available to Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. I told you we was gonna say it over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> it says, "Don't leave Jesus on the shore. Mm. If you do, you'll be sailing alone. Mm. <laughs> you'll end up shipwrecked." Yeah. <laughs> on the shores of eternal hell. Yeah. <laughs> you invite Jesus into your life. Amen. Every day. Every day. Amen. Every day, Lord, we're launching out today. Mm -hmm. The deeper waters. Amen. Amen. And I feel confident. Why? Because He's with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's with me. Amen. And uh, so, don't in exclude yourself. Include yourself. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for this ministry that you have given me. Yes. A ministry of reconciling people to you. Mm. And I'm making myself available. you got to tell them that. Lord, I'm making myself available to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you accept him and receive him as yes. your Lord and Savior, Lord, I'm available. I'm making myself available to you. I want to be this minister of reconciliation. I want to be this ambassador for you. Yes. Bringing people to you. Amen. Amen. You know, I don't want to be in a place where these people are lost and you had a word to share yeah. and you didn't oh speak and you didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. You know, when God has given us authority, mm -hmm. but the authority is in you mm -hmm. and you're not using your authority until you speak it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the word of God. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. That's it. So I'm not going to let the fear hold me back. That's it. Amen. I say, okay, Lord, here am I. Use me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever it is you want me to do, whatever it is you've called me to do, I'm making myself available. Yes. Amen. So, give him praise, give him glory. Amen. Amen. So through the word comes salvation and spiritual growth. Again, Romans 10, 9, and 10. God uses available sources. And that's who I am, Lord. I'm yes. making myself an available source to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm making myself an available child of God to you. Yeah. And I can't say it any more than, better than that. Amen. <laughs> Peter could have refused. The disciples could have refused. You know, when he calls the disciples, 
They had a business. Mm -hmm. They had family. Yeah. And they left family. They left their business behind. Some of us are still deciding, uh, am I going to leave my family behind? Mm -hmm. Am I going to leave my business behind? Am I going to leave this behind, that behind? Whatever it is that's holding you back right now. Mm -hmm. It's time to let it go. Yes. The fishermen, the fishermen came to Christ. It's come to me. I'll make you fishers of men. He's been calling on you. It's time that you let distractions hold you back. It's time to come to him. Amen. Amen. So we're going to close with that. And uh, if you've never accepted Christ, now's the time. Yes. You know, now's the time. You know who I'm talking to. Yes. It's time for you to just say, Lord, I failed you. I haven't been there for you. Mm. I just want to confess every sin, repent, and come to you. And receive you as Lord and Savior yes. of my life. Amen. Lord. And making myself available to be used of you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Father. I thank you for all those that are watching and listening to me right now, Father. That need a touch of healing from me right now, Father. Touch them. Heal them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Yes. The Bible says, well, your word says, Father, yes. and by Jesus' stripes they were healed. So we're calling them healed. We're calling them well. And we thank you. Body line up with the word that I receive yes. healing now and be healed now in Jesus' name. Whether it's on the outside or the inside, it don't matter. God created you. And I cast out every spirit of sickness, every spirit of infirmity out of your body right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So you receive it by faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Time to give. Those of you watching and listening, if you'd like to give your tithe and offerings, you still can. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC, P.O. Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we would just want to let you know we love you. And uh, we thank God for you. Amen. Praise God. Amen.